Okay. Um, so again, thank you so much for doing this. I really, really appreciate it. Skip the format. <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess to start off, like, how did you first get interested in the topics that you're studying? Like, what sparked your interest? And I guess what was the motivation behind combining, like, technology with healthcare? My father. Okay. He was an engineer, and I adored him, and I wanted to oh. be like him. Okay. And so specifically, why healthcare? Because I, I was looking for technology that can help people. Um, and, and so you thought that healthcare was like the best mm -hmm. field to implement that in? Okay. Um, and so I saw that one of the first projects that you did with Teleimmersion was in regards to dance. So what led you to choose such like an abstract topic to implement the technology? Well, I have done robotics all my life, mm -hmm. so motion is part of robotics and dance is a manifestation of human mm -hmm. motion. Okay, interesting. Um, and so, one of your other projects for Teleimmersion was like to better diagnose and care for like the elderly population, mm -hmm. right? How like comfortable are they with this technology? Or like, have you faced any challenges in like trying to introduce it to that particular subset? Well, it depends on the sophistication of the elderly. Some are welcoming technology to help them to be more independent and longer. And um, so that has been very gratifying. Mm -hmm. Some others are more concerned about privacy. Right. And um, so it varied. And um, in the research, you have the luxury to pick and choose, so you, so we picked people who were interested mm. to, to study there, collaborate with us. Right. So you mentioned privacy, like, uh, how how does like teleimmersion impact privacy? I guess, or what are well, some? Well, we have been doing some uh, monitoring of elderly people and disabled people using cell phone, for example. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, unfortunately, uh, it's like if you give your blood to the doctor, mm -hmm. it's not yours anymore. Right. And they can use it as, as, as much as they want to or need to. The same with any other elec electronic device measurements you can respect the privacy or you can just use it for all kinds of intrusions and mm -hmm. bad things. So so the, the, the problem is how can you protect? And uh, regrettably, the best protection is not to give it that right. information to anybody. Mm -hmm. Because la once it leaves your body, it's not yours. For sure. So how do you balance that, like the... There is no balancing. Mm -hmm. It's basically the doctors want the maximum information about you so that presumably they can make the best diagnosis and people want to give you the least amount of information, right. the patient. Mm -hmm. So there is no balancing. For sure. It's a trade-off between uh, how much are you trusting the doctor that he or she will use it only for your benefit mm -hmm. or, you know, how much you don't trust the technology and, and the doctor that they will use it for other purposes. Right, for sure. Um, and so I guess going off of the, like, trust in doctors, do you think that, like, with more teleimmersion, it's, like, detracting from, like, the doctor-patient sort of contact, or is it...? 
enhancing them? Not necessarily. I mean, uh, uh, tele immersion allows you to uh, to to give professional health care or health help at the distance, and mm -hmm. sometimes that might be very much needed because it might be a life and death matters. Mm -hmm. You know, especially if you have people in accidents or, or some other critical health conditions in an area where there is no doctor or or is a very limited access to, to the health professionals. So then the tele immersion facilitates that. But um, It's not easy. Right, definitely. Um, and so how do you envision the like future relationship between teleimmersion and doctors? Like do you think that it could one day like take over doctors' roles or would they sort of would it exist as like a supplementary no, tool? I think it's a mistake to think that technology will take will will eliminate people. Mm especially in the service sector like healthcare. Um, I, I view technology as a complementary where 